Hello there, my name is Fernando and I'm a developer advocate here at GitLab and today I'm going to go over one of the newly added security features within the GitLab 17.2 release. Today I'll cover pipeline execution policies which allow you to either inject jobs into a pipeline or run custom pipelines on the projects of your choice. This furthers our compliance adherence strategy which allows you to manage policies in a project with separate permissions and apply those policies with custom pipelines towards various projects within your organization. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this feature. The pipeline execution policy type is a new type of security policy that allows users to support enforcement of generic CI jobs, scripts, and instructions. The pipeline execution policy has two modes where it can either inject jobs into the project CI CD pipeline or completely replace that pipeline configuration. These policies can be managed centrally by designated security and compliance team members who are allowed to create and manage policies, allowing for separation of duties. Now let's take a look at how this all works. Within my compliance configurations project, I have a set of different GitLab pipelines which run jobs required for compliance. Within the .soc2 inject scanning.yaml, I include SAST and secret detection as well as a SOC2 compliance job. What I'll do now is I'll go ahead and copy over the YAML file name, which I will then use to inject into the pipeline of the project where it is required. The project I will use is the accounting department inject. Here we can see in the .gitlab CI YAML, I only have functions that are relevant to the application itself, such as getting totals, generating charts, and running unit tests. When we take a look at the pipeline, we can see that these are the only jobs that are run. Now let's go to the Secure tab and select Policies. Then I'll go ahead and create a new policy and scroll down and select the Pipeline Execution Policy. Now I'll go ahead and provide the name Inject SOC2 and Security Scans to define the policy. I can optionally add a description and I must make sure that the policy status is set to Enable. Then under Actions, I can either select Inject or Override. In this example, I will select Inject in order to inject the compliance jobs into this project's pipeline. I must select the project where the compliance jobs live and state the file path. I can also state which branch of this project the file is located in. Simplifying versioning. Then all I have to do is click the update via merge request button and a merge request will be created in a separate security policy project. Within this project, you can specify separate permissions in order to enforce principle of least privileges and separation of duties. We can then merge this configuration change to enact the policy. Now when going back to the project where we've applied the policy, if we make any changes to a file and create a merge request, we can see that the pipeline running includes the compliance jobs that were injected via the policy. The compliance jobs will also be injected anytime any pipeline is run within this project, including within the main or default branch. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. To learn more about the GitLab 17.2 release, as well as the feature we went over in this video, see the links in the description. And make sure to click that like and subscribe button 